is phonics and writing lesson 128. You remember yesterday we talked about just basically doing more reviewing and putting into work everything we've learned this year. So today we're going to look at our worksheet that we would have been doing today in class and we'll go over the instructions and then you can just go ahead and work on that at home. Okay? Mostly we're working on our special sounds in phonics to help us read words more quickly. So, mom, go to letters and sounds workbook and get out page 151 for lesson 128. All right, when mom's got that workbook page for you, y'all put your name at the top. First thing you do is always the same. Take out a pencil and write your name. All right? On the first part, you're going to circle the special sounds in the words and mark the vowels and then read the words. All right? Now, I know you're just learning to circle your special sounds, so maybe have mom help you with this a little bit if you're not sure which, which letters are the special sounds. All right? That's what you do on the first part. On this part, it's a lot like you did on your worksheet yesterday. Look at these three words over here on the side. Read these three words first. One of them is going to complete each sentence. You need to pick the word on the side that makes this sentence correct. Let's look at the first one. Pete will sit on the. What is Pete going to sit on? The rope, the rose, or the stump? All right, choose the best word and write it in the blank. And that's what you do for the other two as well. All right, now on the back, look at all the pictures on this side. Then go back over to this side and read the sentence. Zach rode on the ship. Which picture is Zach rode on the ship? Okay, this one. So you're going to draw a line to match the sentence to the picture that the sentence is talking about. That's pretty easy. That's your phonics worksheet for today. All right? Now, let's go to writing and phonics workbook, Mom, and get out page 153. This is for our lesson 128. We're going to practice capital H, little h, all right? And then you're going to trace the sentence, read it, and write the sentence down here, starting each new word on a red dot, all right? Don't forget the periods at the end of your sentence. We've been doing this for a long time now, so we should have nice, neat handwriting, and we shouldn't be forgetting our periods. Make sure you're putting your capital letter at the beginning of the sentence. All right, on the back, I want you to do this page as well. Read the sentence, trace it, and write it below. All right, very easy. Y'all have been doing this for a long time. All right, so the good news with this is there is no math lesson for lesson 128. So this is it for the day, all right? You've got a short day today. Do a good job on your worksheets. If you need help, make sure you ask mom to give you a hand and help you out.